Weezy out of here. The dash is digi, the schedule busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you can tell by the title, today we are doing another thrift haul, which I'm very excited about because I have a lot of goodies to share with you guys and we love thrifting and we love hauls and we love all the good stuff. So without further ado, we're just going to jump into it. My social media will be linked down below and my Depop will be linked down below because some of the items that I've actually am showing with you guys some of the items that I'm sharing with you guys today are not my size or I'm just selling on my Depop. So if you guys are interested, I'll let you know what items they are, but my Depop will be listed down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. If you guys see any black, um, like, marks on me, I recently, like, I literally just dyed, um, some hair. So I kind of am, like, still stained from the black dye, but that's besides the point. Enough talking. Let's do this. I'm gonna start off with accessories just because... Um, they're right here. Um, so the first thing that I have are a pair of boots. These are so stunning and I'm so upset that they do not fit me, but I had to buy them because look at them. Like I literally saw them and was like, whoa, like I can't fit these. I have to buy them. I just need them. Even though I can't fit them, I'm going to sell them and one of you maybe can enjoy these. They are, I believe, a size six. Yeah, they're a size six. Um, and... I don't know, they're marked as $19.99, but I'm pretty sure they were the color of the day, so I might have gotten them for $10, but I also might have gotten them for $19.99. But they are just these black, I also stuffed them. Like I have some like extra fabric that I had. I just stuffed them so that it helps hold the shape and they don't, you know, get all like messed up and everything. But they're just like this black, like snake skin or crocodile skin, um, I guess calf high boots. They have this really like cool heel it kind of has like this different shape where it gets really skinny and kind of comes out. And then it is a pointier toe. These are so stunning. They are slightly worn, like you can see um, some of the bottom like came off, but they're in great condition and I just thought they were so stunning. I literally had to buy them. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, but this is the brand that they're made from and they say they're made in Italy. So I'm assuming that they are real leather. I don't really know, but yeah, I love these. They're so beautiful. I'm so sad I can't wear them, but if you're interested, I believe they're still available on my Depop, so... Well, yeah, they are still available because I still have them. But you guys can check that out down below if you're interested. The other pair of shoes that I have are actually some sandals. And these fit me, but I did, like, put them on my Depop just in case someone happens to buy them because it's winter. So I can't get any use out of them. Um, they are in amazing condition. They look like they were, like, only worn a few times, if even that. They are marked as an 8.5, but I'm a size 8 and they fit me pretty well. Um, and they're just, like, some strappy kind of like squared more toe oops whoa block heeled um little sandals i think these are so cute like i just ugh, i just love them and they're actually made out of kind of like a satiny material like almost like what a dress would be made out of and i don't know i just love them the heel is the same like satiny material super cute these were marked as 8.99 and i believe i played like i paid full price for that um, but I think I'm just selling them on my Depop for like $20 or $25, something like that. I also picked up another accessory. Hopefully you guys can see, but it's just a black Adidas visor. It looks like it's in great condition. Like, it looks like it was rarely ever worn. I mean, I don't know if a guy owned it or what, but there's like no makeup or like dirtiness on the inside here. And I believe I got this. It was for under $5. Um, but again, I am selling this on my Depop if you're interested. Basically showing you guys all the items that I'm selling on my Depop first because I'm keeping all the clothes that I hauled, but some of these accessories I just feel like someone out there can get more use out of. So the next thing that I have is a colored item. Yes, I know. But again, it's on sale on my Depop. I just loved it so much and I appreciated how beautiful it was that I like had to buy it because it was like a good deal. Do you know what I mean? Does anyone else do that? Like when they go thrifting, like buy things that like they might not wear themselves, but they're so cute and like such a good price that you're just like, I have to buy this. Like I can't leave the store without this. Like I can't just leave this behind. You know what I mean? Like I saw it, I have to get it kind of thing. Let me know, maybe I'm the only one. But um, yeah, so it's just this red tote kind of bag. I don't know how to explain it. Let me get out the frame and let it have its moment. Um, this one is, yeah, I think this is crocodile. So I think the other one, the, the shoes are crocodile too. Um, I do think this is faux though. 
but it looks like it was like rarely ever used. The inside is lined with like a satin, I don't know if this is a print, it's just like a printed inside. There's a little pocket on here with a zipper and they also have like little pockets on this side, like those little ones you just put things in. Um, but the inside is really clean and like the outside is also really clean. So I just think it's really cute and it's really good quality. The bottom, like it literally looks like it was honestly never used and it feels really nice. So if you're interested, again, check out my Depop. I sound like a, I sound like a um, broken record. Check out my Depop. Check out my Depop. Listen it down below. Check, check out my Depop. Next day dropping 2019. Follow me on SoundCloud. Okay, next accessory. This I'm keeping for sure because I think it's the coolest thing I probably have ever gotten, maybe, at a thrift store. Um, and for so cheap. So this was $2.99 because I believe all of the belts at the Goodwill are $2.99. And oh my gosh, guys. So it is this white canvas material belt and it's silver it has these little holes also it fits me like fits me like usually when I get really cool things or like belts or things I see them they usually never fit me and I have to like add extra holes but it fits me really well and it basically just has a whole bunch of tiny little faux bullets on it and I mean maybe this is a little vulgar or like scary but I think it's so cool I don't know, I'm just like obsessed with it. I think it's such a cool detail and I don't know, I just love how it looks. The only thing is, um, I feel like it's really chunky and I don't find myself wearing chunky belts that often. Like, I feel like this is like dated, like this is like early 2000s, you know, like really chunky belts. But I am gonna like make it work and like style it somehow because I think it's really cool. I just don't find myself reaching for it as much as I thought I would because it's like chunky and like when I put it on, it doesn't like work with the outfit how I thought it would. But I'm going to like stare at this for a while and look at my closet and find an outfit that I feel like will complement this really well because I think it's like the coolest thing and I really wanna wear it and style it in a really cool way. So yeah, this is $2.99, I think it's so cool and that's that. Okay, next I picked up two core sets that were actually in my size, guys. Like I was so shocked about this. I can't find the other one because my room is just not really organized right now. Like I kind of have like this huge pile of clean clothes. Like every time I do laundry, I kind of just throw the clean clothes in this pile and it's become a bit obnoxious. And I actually just went through the whole thing and I still can't find it. So I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna try to search for photos somewhere and insert it. I actually wore it in my last lookbook. So I'll insert a photo of what it looks like. But this is the one I do have with me and I love this because it's like mesh. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know those like lace bodysuits that are like super trending, they've been trending for like a year. I was like obsessed with wearing those with like something cropped over it and kind of letting it sit in my midriff. So I kind of like this for the same concept, like wearing this and then wearing maybe like a cropped hoodie over it or wearing like a tight cropped shirt or something or just even like a long sleeve shirt that's tight and then putting this over it. I don't know, I think it's so cute. I really love the detail on this. The cup size is a little small for me, but it still works. Um, I'm gonna insert a photo that I actually styled this with a pair of pants that I got um, that I'm also gonna show you guys in a little bit. But yeah, I think it's so cute. I love the detailing. I love that it's like mesh because again, styled how like I said, if you like leave it in a midriff area with like nothing or like you wear something cropped over it, it looks so nice with like your skin peeking through. And then in the back, it like laces up and then the actual like eyelets and closure part is down the side. The only thing is, this is like an actual corset I think and it's kind of hard to put it on because it's like at the side so I usually like do it in the front and then twist it This was under five dollars, which I think was a steal and so was the other one So I'm gonna insert a photo of the other one here It was in my last lookbook. And I like just wore like a black long sleeve like bodysuit underneath But again, it looks so cute and that one is not as mesh or see-through, but I love the detailing on it as well So yeah, love these so 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 cute. I also have another belt that I forgot to show you with the other one but I'm gonna just close it so you guys can see a little bit easier. But it is just a black, I believe this is a faux leather belt and it just has like these huge eyelets all over. And it also has like the smaller rivets, but I think this is really cute. Oh wait, it says genuine leather, so maybe it's real leather, but then it says made in China and it doesn't really feel like real leather, but I don't know. 
it's a genuine leather but again $2.99 so either way it was a steal I love the fact that it has all the eyelets because I can wear it low rise or I can wear it high rise because you can use any of the holes so again I usually have an issue like I'll find really cool belts at the thrift store but they're usually like so long and like they don't fit me so they're like wrapping around forever and I'll like have to add a new hole or they're like really really small I don't know it's always like one or the other but I'm so happy that I found two really cool belts for $2.99 each that fit me perfectly so yeah this is the second belt that I picked up I also while I picked up those corsets I picked up this like old school bra kind of thing and it actually doesn't really fit me well at all like it's way too big here but I was planning on wearing it as like a crop top like I don't know I thought this would have been really cool with like some really high-waisted like baggy pants or even like dress pants or something I don't know where I was going with this I thought you know I thought it was gonna be a thing I like the detailing on it like around the trim there's kind of like some detail in the stitching um, and I thought it was like obviously a lot more full coverage than like some of the bras we have today so I thought it would be more like a crop top but again it's like really big in this area and it doesn't really fit in a flattering way so I'm probably either gonna just donate it again or give it to someone who wants it um next I have a simple shirt it's just this gray it's like ribbed but it's like a shiny material like I don't know how to explain it like I don't know if it's picking up on camera but it's like ribbed but like really soft and almost like more of a blousey kind of lightweight knit I really don't know how I'm like goes to fashion school for two years and has to take a textile class and still doesn't know how to describe fabric but it's okay hopefully you're getting what I'm throwing your way and yeah it's just like basically a short sleeve it's kind of like a long t-shirt it was $2.99 and I like it like tucked in I feel like it tucks in really nicely and like sits nicely and you can even just like roll it up and not even tuck it in and it kind of stays but you also can like leave it out I don't know I think it's like a nice basic but it's not like super super basic because of the material and the fit and everything so yeah for three dollars I figured I'd pick it up and then next I have another kind of basic item it's just this white well it's kind of like an off-white button down blouse I feel like you really can't go wrong with these and I realized that the one I had got a stain on it so I ended up like getting rid of it and I didn't actually have one so yeah I think these are really cute like I don't know I'm not someone who loves like button down blouses but I like wearing them like either off the shoulder or, like tying them or things like that and I feel like it's a simple piece that everyone should have in their closet um, the back has like this detailing across I don't know if you can see and I actually just noticed that the back of the sleeves also have this seam where it actually opens up but I thought that it was plain like I didn't notice that until like just now and I was grabbing the items um, and it just has a little pocket in the front so yeah again this was under five dollars everything that I got is usually under five dollars I don't really like to spend more than that or I'm like is this a thrift store you know but yeah so I picked this up I really like this it's like also like a lightweight kind of crepe material so it's like really nice good quality and again can't go wrong you can do a lot of things with a button down shirt so I figured I'd pick it up next well lastly I guess I have a whole bunch of paints I'm gonna start with the ones that I don't love as much and then we'll get into the ones that I'm obsessed with I have these pants right here which are like some black shiny kind of like satiny slacks and they come down to like a straight leg not too skinny but like not wide either um, the only thing with these is like they are like just fitting like just fitting um, they're by the brand Tazio they say 14 size 14 are these kids pants I'm honestly so confused they were definitely in the women's section which I also usually don't get pants in the women's section, but I did. But, um, yeah, they also kind of have, like, this slight stretch to them. But I just feel like they're a little too tight. Maybe I can get it, like, they button, they close. I just don't think they're super flattering. So, yeah, I, this is what happens when you don't try things on in the store. But I don't really know what I'm going to do with them yet. I don't know if they're to the point where I just, like, don't want them and I want to give them away or what so I'm just gonna hold on to them a little bit longer see how I feel see if they grow on me I like the material of them like I like how it has this sheen so I guess that's what I was drawn to and I kind of feel like that's why I'm holding on to them but we will see I definitely think I can make them work I just don't know if 
it's like worth it or not. The other pants that I have, again, these are cool. I feel like these are kind of pajama pants. So when you look at them, they're huge, but they have these drawstrings. So you basically can just like scrunch them in a lot. And they're kind of like paper bag pants, or they kind of, not really because they don't scrunch above, but they just get like really scrunched in, and then they're really loose. And the only thing is these are a little bit see-through, but I like the material, and if you guys can see, they're like tiny little stripes all over it, and they're kind of even like wrinkled, but like on purpose. Um, and then they're wide at the bottom, so I feel like these were probably intended to be pajamas, but I feel like they're really nice like summer pants or like beach pants or something like that. Um, and they do have pockets, which I love. We love pockets in a pan or in anything, to be honest. So yeah, I picked these up. And again, I believe these were also $2.99. So I figured, why not? And I actually really like how they look on. Like I like the fit of them and how scrunched they get at the waist. So yeah, pick those up. But the next pair of pants that I have are these gray wool pants I don't know if you guys can tell but they have like different tones of gray in the pants um, I like how they fit high-waisted but I definitely need to belt them for them to fit well high-waisted um, and again if you I mean I already inserted the photo but I'll insert another one of me styling this with the corset I think it looks so cute I love mixing like the different I guess type of items um, they have belt loops they're a little bit scrunched in the back like with a little bit of elastic um, they also have pockets and they come down to like again a slim kind of straight leg They're basically just like women's high-waisted work pants, but they're in a gray wool and I really really love these like I feel like I love Work pants with like a nice heel and then styled with like something casual like like a casual top or a casual jacket I feel like it looks so cool, and it's just so good. It looks put together but it's not like you try too hard. So yeah, I love that. Can't go wrong with these. And then the last item that I have are another pair of swishy pants because what is a thrift haul for Aaron and Areva without some swishy pants? So these are just some black swishy pants. They're like a thinner kind of material like a thinner windbreaker material but they're lined so they're very very warm they have a little button closure in the front and then they have these little parts on the side that are velcro so I like to adjust these so that it's like small so that it fits me high-waisted but I could also like put them looser and wear them like low-rise um, again there's like elastic in the waistband in the back and I love the pockets on this so there's pockets like here and then they also have like a pocket on the side which I think is so cool there are no pockets in the back and then it comes down to kind of like a wide leg but again there's a double like pant like they're lined with a whole nother pant that are actually like skinny leg and scrunch so it keeps you so warm because the scrunch part like I don't know like it hugs your ankle so that like in when it's cold and it's windy like the wind is not like blowing up your leg Do you guys know what I mean New York weather you guys know what I mean it gets very cold so I love these because they're super cute and stylish. I love that I can like adjust them to like fit my like waist, high waisted, really cute. Um, again, these were also in my last lookbook. If you have not checked that out, I will link it down below so you guys can see how I styled some of these pieces. But yeah, that is everything that I have to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you guys are interested, I actually posted over 40 new items on my Depop this week. Um, some items have sold already, but there's still a lot available. I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up, this statement will still be true. But if you guys are interested, definitely check it out down below. And follow me on Instagram if you guys want to just stay connected more. Or you guys want to chat, like, personally. Or if you guys want to see how I style, like, more items. Because I do post a lot more, like, fashion, I guess, photos and outfit pictures on there. Um, if you guys are wondering, this hair is my curly hair that I've been rocking from Ali Pro Hair. I am so lazy today that I'm chilling. I just have like this t-shirt on which is thrifted and this little like blouse thing which is also thrifted and I just threw my hair in this little bun because I was just chilling today and I just wanted to come here though and do a little thrift haul for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys want me to do more hauls. I have a few more hauls coming very, very, very soon and I have a really cool new video on some new hair that I'm 
very excited to share with you guys that will be going live very very soon so yeah be sure to subscribe turn on the notification bell let me know down below what you think what your favorite pieces were what you want to see in the future anything and thank you so much for watching if you made it to end the video i love you so 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 much Mwah. i'll see you in my next one bye guys